The AIDS Friendly Programme process is learning how to research within your own environment to find the problems and to analyse that information then to come up with solutions. We carry out surveys in the area, mapping demographic surveys. We meet various different stakeholders within the area, like the guards, the HSE. Then we had a open meeting where we invited all the older people of the area in to contribute their ideas and how they could see East Wall develop as an age-friendly town. After that, we came up with an action plan, short-term, medium-term, long-term. We grant aid at the men's shed because it was money that was going to be very, very well spent. Age Friendly sort of kicked her all off for us, opened our eyes to a large group of people looking for something to do. I had a mother died and my brother died. And he come over here and talk and he get out of your head. My wife suffers from dementia. Couldn't find a better way of breaking than coming here to relax and do some work. The lads got a bit of crack. You don't have to do any work if you don't want to. Listen to the banter. East Wall, there's very little green space. We approached the local church. They had two large areas and asked them, would they be prepared to facilitate us putting in a civic park? We were knocking at an open door. We are gain and health wise. You can see the activities going around here. It's absolutely fantastic. Through our grants, we've got our cabin here, as you see on the right hand side. We have a little potting shed at the end of that. And I'm grown on 81 years of age now and where could I spend a better afternoon or morning than sitting here? It's heaven on earth. The lads can come out every, every day. They don't have to do anything. If I hadn't got this, I'd have been sitting at home watching a box and I wouldn't have been as healthy as I am now. The impact on the community was, I think, quite extraordinary. There's benches there for the older people to sit down maybe after mass, share thoughts, laughs. It's been developed by the local community, for the local community. We have a games room for the men, we have a, an afternoon drop in for the senior ladies, uh, we do a lot of day trips. Well I am 95 and I love to come here. It's not only the stupid and the early play, it's all the sport and that we have in the place. There's a lot of games, it's great for the old folks here. I'm 96, they come in here, what, eight years now? And I like it. Got to be with the lads. It gets me out of the house, not having any wife at home now, living alone. So I guess very lonely. But we go on trips, so they look after us well here. Looked at some derelict sites locally, try and have a system that worked across the board. But we put all barrels around the area. So we knock at the door and say to the people that the barrel's gone, that's yours. If you don't service it, we take it away and put it somewhere else. So they're all watering them now, you know. The Age Friendly Programme has given us access to the decision makers. It's created a forum whereby local community groups can talk at a one-to-one -one level with members of Dublin City Council, the HSE, on Garda Cana, and things tend to happen a lot faster when you have that connection. What we have suggested to Dublin City Council and the planners, that at the time of developers applying for planning permission that they try and build in the age-friendly ideas into the planning process to upgrade the area and make the area far more age-friendly because the whole idea is to make older persons feel that they can stay and remain productive parts of the community. If we do that economically on the state it'll be more of benefit. For the people themselves, they can live in their community rather than having to go into protective housing or nursing homes. Long term, we hope to have all the footpaths renewed. We hope to have pedestrian crossings, to address the on-street parking to make it age-friendly, to enhance the area through planning. The Age Friendly Programme has been a very worthwhile, very positive experience for the community that I work with. We would definitely feel that it's a process that will be ongoing and it certainly has the potential to be sustainable. There is something in the Age Friendly Programme for everybody and I think it enhances communities the length and breadth of Ireland.